In this lesson, we will learn how to add Schedule Visibility Tasks or SVTs in Microsoft Project. In an earlier lesson, we learned how to add lags to our schedules. I also explained why it wasn't a good idea to use that type of technique in our schedules. Here I will go over how you can use Schedule Visibility Tasks instead of using lags in your schedule. These techniques should work for all versions starting from Microsoft Project 2013 all the way to the most current version of Project. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell so that you get notifications when I publish a new video. First of all, let's define what is a Schedule Visibility Task, and then we will learn how to apply it in Microsoft Project. A Schedule Visibility Task is a non-resource task that could be a milestone and is represented as a task for network calculation. An example would be tasks that represent waiting time, like drying of concrete. That is necessary waiting so another task can be started. It can also represent external tasks that need to be tracked in our schedule to make sure we have a complete picture of the project or program. Let's go look at the schedule and see how we can fix the lag between the two tasks we chose in a different lesson. Here we see that we added a 10-day lag between wing and engine modification. So those are lines 15 and 16. And you can see here that I have a 10-day lag in the predecessor wing modification. So what does that mean? It means right here, if you look at the date, wing modification is supposed to finish on 4-30-2021. And engine modification now shows here that it's going to start on 5-17-2021. The reason there's a big gap between these two right here is because we have this 10 day lag that you can see both in the successor column of the line 15 and in the predecessor column of line 16 because they are the same thing for both of these. That means that there's a gap right here between this finish 430 2021 and the beginning of the engine modification which is 517 2021. So that's a two week lag. So if I would close this off and I would hand this schedule over to someone else, like my project team, my project manager, and tell them, look, here's the schedule. This is cool. This is what's happening. He or she may look at the schedule and they would go and look and see that something's going on here, but they don't understand. So what is the schedule doing? It's confusing. Or maybe, you know, they don't see it. And when we get there, they're confused as to why there is a gap. So we want to avoid those type of confusions. We want everything to be clearly visible because remember, one of the generally accepted scheduling principles or GASP, one of them is to be transparent. So the first one is to have a schedule that's complete. The second one is the schedule needs to be traceable and we already did all the linking, so it's traceable. And now we need to make sure that all our schedules are transparent. So we need to make sure we're not using lags we can use up to 5% of lags in our schedule without impacting too much the schedule, but it's better to have visibility. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click right here on this line 16 because I want to put a line right above it and I'm going to go ahead and insert task. And right here, I'm going to rename this task and we can have SVT, which means schedule visibility task, we can add it to our schedule, our task name, either at the front or at the end. So when, whenever anyone is looking at our schedule, we tell them what SVT stands for. So if they see it, they'll know that it's a schedule visibility task. So it's more of a holding pattern and why it's being held at that point. Okay. So right here, I'm going to choose to put SVT at the front. So I'm going to put SVT space dash space. And then I'm going to put engine team arrival delay. This is because when I talked to my project team, they told me that there's going to be a delay between wind modification and engine modification because the engine modification team cannot arrive to help us until wing modification, 10 days after wing modification. So that's a resource issue. So I want to make sure to capture it here. And here I'm going to put that's going to be 10 day delay. Okay. So you're 
you can see that there is no logic yet in here. So you're going to see that engine modification, the engine team arrival delay is all the way at the beginning of our project. So we need to make sure to account for that. So we're going to have to change and add logic. But before I do that, I want to take off the logic between wing modification and engine modification. So engine modification is not going to rely on wing modification anymore. So I'm going to delete that predecessor and I'm going to use my bottom pane. If you don't have it open, let me close this and I'm going to show you how to put it back in. If you want your bottom pane, you need to not be showing your timeline. If you're showing your timeline, you need to make sure to uncheck it right here and show timeline. You right click on the Gantt chart and then go to show timeline and uncheck it. Once you have unchecked it, you'd right click again in a white area on the Gantt chart and then click on show split and then you see the bottom pane. Then you want to make sure you're in the view in the task form that's showing predecessor on the left and successor on the right. If it's not showing it that way, then you need to go to the gray area over here on the bottom pane, right click and then choose predecessor and successor. And now you can see here that I have a wing modification as the predecessor, and I'm going to delete that because I don't need it anymore. So now engine modification and a lot of my other tasks have changed, have changed um, dates and all that, but don't worry about it right now. Let me undo that again, control Z, because I wanted to show you something before we go. So we're gonna make sure that we have this same wing modification ends on 430 and we're going to have to show the engine modification starts on 517 or 10 days 10 working days between these two so once we delete this again i'm going to delete the predecessor and i'm going to click ok and then right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this i can get all three of these tasks and click on link the task because they will cascade or I can go to SVT engine team delay and put line 15 right here on the predecessor column. I'm going to put 15 and then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go to engine modification and the predecessor is line 16. So I'm going to put 16 right here and then I'm going to click OK. And now we have this linked. So now I know for sure that the whole team is going to know that there's a wing modification and we're going to finish on 4.30 and then starting from, from 5.3 which is the beginning of the week let's open this up it's a Monday yeah so this is, ends on a Friday so the next Monday for, for two weeks we're going to be waiting for the engine team arrival and then they're going to start working on 5.17 so now we clearly see that we have a 10 day delay in our schedule and it's not hidden in the lag so that's why we use schedule visibility task and we can name it like that put the svt in front of it or at the end of it so everyone is aware that it's something that is not resource loaded that it is just our waiting time that we can see in the schedule so that's it this is one example of how you can use schedule visibility tasks to avoid using lags in your schedule now everyone can clearly see the delays Lags only hide delays in the background and can really put a project behind when no one can see them and then forget why they are there. So go ahead and play around with your schedule. You can change the name. It doesn't have to be a delay. It could be, you can name it any other way that you want it to show the waiting time between one task and another. In this lesson, you learned how to add schedule visibility tasks or SVTs into your schedule in Microsoft Project. My name is Minerva Gori and I'll see you in the next lesson.